Hello, Matt here with another episode of Magnolia Bridge, where we master the Magnolia bidding style pioneered by Carlton de Reich. For those of you unfamiliar with the Magnolia style, it is a concise yet clear way of bidding, and it is notable for its enriched versions of a few popular bridge conventions. Now, here's Brian. Today, we'll be taking a look at how Magnolia Bridge players determine their opening bids. All opening bids are based on two pieces of information. First, the total number of high card points in their hand, and second, how the cards are distributed within the four suits. Note that the Magnolia bidding style does not assign points for card distribution until the partnership has agreed upon a trump suit. For this episode, we will be focusing only on hands with 12 to 18 points, which is the minimum number of points necessary for a one-level opening bid. Let's have our four players bid the opening bids for these hands. One spade. A bid of one spade indicates a hand with 12 to 18 points and five or more spades. One heart. A bid of one heart indicates a hand with 12 to 18 points and five or more hearts. Partner will initially assume a five-card heart suit. Later, the opener can bid hearts again to indicate the sixth heart card. One club. The hand has 12 to 18 points and five or more clubs, so the bid is one club. One diamond. The hand has 12 to 18 points and seven diamonds. Partner will initially assume a five card diamond suit. Later, the opener can rebid diamonds twice, once for each additional diamond card. So, now you're probably wondering what to do if your hand does not contain a five-card suit. Let's have our players bid these hands. One club. One club. One club. One club. For all of these hands, the bid has been one club. Each hand does have between 12 to 18 high card points, but none of the hands have a five card or longer club suit. So why is this? Well, bridge players needed a way to describe not having a five card suit. As there is no bid below one club, the one club bid has been extended to mean two different things. Either one, having a five card club suit, or two, not having a five card suit at all. So how is their partner supposed to know which was meant? Well, it all depends on the opener's next bid. The opener's second bid is the qualifier and clarifies the intent of the first bid. Now, in order for players to be able to distinguish between and talk about the two different one-club openings, the one-club bid, meaning the absence of a five-card suit, has been named the artificial one-club bid. This basically says, I do not have a five card suit, and I am not bidding clubs as a suit. To make this clear, here are the only scenarios in which the one club opening bid is used. First, when the hand has a five card or longer club suit, the club bid is repeated. For instance, opener opens one club, partner responds with one no trump, and opener repeats the clubs by bidding two clubs, which indicates having at least five club cards. Second, when the hand has two five-card suits, where the clubs are longer or stronger than the second bid suit, the first bid is one club, and the second bid introduces the second suit. For instance, opener opens with one club, partner responds with one spade, and opener's second bid is two hearts. Opener is indicating having five clubs and five hearts, where the clubs are longer or stronger than the hearts. If the hearts were longer or stronger, the hearts would have been bid first. Third, when the hand does not have a five card or longer suit, opener bids with the artificial one club. For example, opener opens one club, partner responds with a one diamond, and opener's second bid is one no trump. Since opener's second bid was not a suit, opener has confirmed not having any five card or longer suit. Now let's have a look at today's hand.
pass. With fewer than 12 points and no six-card suit to bid a preemptive bid, West passes. Pass. Similarly, with fewer than 12 points and no six-card suit to bid the preemptive bid, North passes. One club. With 12 to 18 points, East is bidding their five-card club suit. However, unless East bids clubs again, East's partner has to assume this bid is an artificial club, indicating the absence of a five-card suit and 12 to 15 points. One heart. South has six hearts, but too many points to open with a preemptive bid at the two level. By bidding at the one level, South is showing an opening hand with 12 to 18 high card points and at least five hearts. One no trump. West has no five card suit. However, West's eight points does meet the seven point requirement for a response bid of one no trump or higher. Two space. North also has the seven points required to bid a response of one no trump or higher and is indicating having at least five spades. Each of the players now know that two of the players have opening 12 points, while the other two players have the sufficient seven points to respond. Therefore, each partnership has approximately half the number of high card points in the deck. The chances of making a three level contract are slim but this can be improved by the distribution of the cards. Pass. As East's initial one club bid is assumed by partner to be an artificial club, East needed to decide whether to repeat the club bid to confirm having a five card club suit. However, with the partnership only having half the points in the deck and opponents not yet agreeing to a contract suit, East has decided it was too risky to bid at the three level. Three hearts. As South does not have the sufficient three spade cards to support partner's spades, and cannot indicate the sixth heart card by rebidding hearts at the two level, South has decided to add two distribution points for the singleton club and one distribution point for the doubleton spade, which gives the hand 16 points. The partnership for a heart contract now has a total of 16 plus 7, or 23 points appropriate for a three-level bid. Pass. Pass. As South has indicated having six hearts and North having the necessary two hearts for an eight-card fit, North has agreed to the three-heart contract. Pass. Let's watch as they play the hand. West has led the fourth highest of their longest suit. East played their highest diamond and declare wins with the ace. The hand's singleton nine of clubs is used to transfer to dummy's ace. The eight of hearts is led. East plays the king and declare wins with the ace. The two of hearts was led, removing dummy's last trump and East wins with the queen. East led the three of spades and declare let it go by not playing the king, hoping that West has the ace and not the queen. However, West did have the queen. Knowing that declare did not support North's spade suit and therefore may not have three spade cards, East led the ace of spades, hoping declare has a second spade, which was true. A diamond was led and declare took East's jack with the queen. This was the second diamond trick that the opposition has lost, as South had the ace and queen over East's king and jack. Declare decided to remove opposition's last remaining heart. East discarded the seven of spades, as it is lower than dummy's winning spades. Declare is beginning a squeeze by leading the seven of hearts, and clubs are discarded. The squeeze continues, and dummy discards the good eight of spades. The three of hearts is led in hopes that dummy's jack of clubs will tempt the opposition to keep a higher club. The ten of diamonds is led, hoping that the opposition has kept only one diamond. As both the opposition had kept one diamond and one club, the four of diamonds wins last trick. Therefore, declarer, having unexpectedly won four diamond tricks, 
made the three heart contract with one over trick. In duplicate bridge, for making the contract plus one over trick, the partnership wins four times 30 or 120 points, plus 50 points for making a part game, which totals to 170 points. Now here is Carlton de Rijk with today's commentary. The artificial club is easier to understand for a beginner than the better of the two minors, which can later be confusing. And with that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, and as always, may all the points be with you. Thank you.